Praise the Lord. This is Brother Olu. Today we'll be talking about what I've called You Reap What You Sow. You Reap What You Sow. And we're going to look at the scripture from the book of Galatians, chapter 6, from verse 7 to 8. It reads, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reap what he sows. The one who sows to please a sinful nature, from that nature will reap destruction. The one who sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. The Lord bless the reading of his words. You reap what you sow. I will reap what I sow. The book of Galatians, Paul was speaking to the Galatians beginning from chapter 1, chapter 2. He was talking about two opposites. He was talking about the Gentiles and the Jews. He was talking about the law and grace, the law and the promise. He talked about um, circumcision and uncircumcision. He talked about the free woman and the bond woman. He talked about the child of the promise and the child from the other woman that is not of the promise, that child of the flesh. He talked about Isaac and Ishmael. That's what he talked about. Then. He talked about the sinful nature. He listed all what he categorized as sinful nature. Then he categorized what he leaves as the fruit of the spirit. So these are two opposites in the book of Galatians that Paul tried to teach the Galatians. In our climax in chapter 6, where we read today, he says, Be not deceived. Do not deceive yourself. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Another two opposite. He now says, you can either sow to the flesh. Of the flesh you reap corruption. Or the other side, you can sow to the spirit that you reap everlasting life. That's what he said in the place we read today. He says, you can sow. For whoever sows to the spirit, from the spirit will reap eternal life. Two opposite. You reap what you sow. One preacher that I always listen to, Charles Stanley, says, you reap what you sow more than you sow, later than you sow. You can't get away with sin. What you sow, you will reap. To, to get the point home, I want us to look at one king in the Bible, Adoni Bezek, in the book of Judges, chapter 1, from verse 6 to 7. Adoni Bezek. Judges 1, 6 to 7, and it, it explains the concept of sowing and reaping. Verse 6 of chapter 1 of the book of Judges says, Adonibezek fled, but they chased him and caught him, and cut off his tongue and his big toes. Verse 7, listen to what it says. Then Adonibezek said, Seven the kings with their tongue and their big toes cut off, I've picked up scrap under my table. Now God has paid me back for what I did to them. They brought him to Jerusalem and he died thereafter. Adoni Bezek took 70 kings, cut off their thumbs and their big toes. And they were picking scrap under his table for a while. I don't, the Bible did not stay the duration of when he was cutting off people's thumbs and toes, the kings, 17 all. His day of reckoning came, and with his own mouth, he said, Now God has paid me back what I did. What you sow, you will reap. Are you sowing to the flesh or are you sowing to the spirit? But in the Bible, also to bring out a different aspect of it, one can do a crop failure. And I want us to look at the, the, the man by the name of Zacchaeus. Jesus was coming to Jericho and Zacchaeus has heard about him. Zacchaeus is the chief tax collector of the city of Jericho. And you know, when, when they, they want to see if a person is a sinner, in fact, in Matthew 18, Jesus was saying, treat him as a pagan or as a tax collector. He was the chief of sinners. 
So he knew Jesus was coming to Jericho and he wanted to see Jesus. So he, he ran ahead along the path and he climbed a sycamore tree. And Bible says, when Jesus got there to the sycamore tree, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down. Today, I'm going to your house. Ha! Ah. And the people around grumbled. They murmured. Say, ah, can Jesus go and sit with this sinner? This tax collector. We know he's the chief of sinners. Ah! But something happened. Zacchaeus known to be a tax collector and all what they did the chief of tax collectors after that encounter when jesus came into his house he made a statement in luke the, the account is in luke 19 from verse 1 to verse 10 that's the account of the story but i just want to look at verse 8 but zacchaeus stood up this was when jesus came to his house this was in zacchaeus house Zacchaeus, the chief of tax collector, he made a statement. He made a declaration. He did a crop failure. He was, let's just read it so we can get it. And I, I come back to that. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possession to the poor. And if I've cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. The tax collector, the chief of the tax collector, known to be the chief of sinners. Jesus says, come down. Today, I'm going to your house. When Jesus was at his house, something happened to him that, look, I need to do a crop failure. That's why he made the statement. If I've cheated anybody, I will pay back. Not only pay back, I will pay back four times the amount. Here, I will give half of my possession to the poor. Next verse, verse 9. Jesus said to him, Today, Jesus said to him, Today, now, after he made that statement, salvation has come to this house because this man too is the son of abraham for the son of man came to seek and to save what was lost he did a crop failure by virtue of light and darkness by virtue of grace and the law by virtue of what is so that you will reap by virtue of the sinful nature and the fruit of the spirit by virtue of the free woman and the bond woman the book of Galatians he said now I will make a restitution so I don't reap what I've sown he said I will pay back four times I will give half of my things to the poor a friend once said one day when something happened of respect, I respect him a lot, and he said in, in English words, I will never forget. He says, Men at times are the architect of their own misfortune. What you sow, you will reap. Paul to the Galatians, be not deceived. God cannot be mocked. You can mock people, but you cannot mock God. For a man will reap what you sow. Can I ask you, what have you sown? What are you sowing today? What do you plan to sow? In the light of Jesus in Zacchaeus' house, he says, I will go back and revisit all those things I've sown. And he says, today, salvation has come to your house. Be not deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man will report he was so, so. God bless you. Amen.